Jupiter's moon is a prime candidate for, for a habitable world. So the idea you have a habitable zone in a solar system, which is the, the zone within which if you have a rocky planet orbiting and everything's right, then and the atmosphere's right, you could have the conditions to support life on the surface. Well, so li liquid water, liquid water on the surface, let's right, say. Right. And uh, so and, and so But that it, turned out to be needlessly limiting. Well, exactly. Yeah. So 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 you just say, well, Mars, Earth, Venus in our solar system. That's it. Ju but then you find the habitable zones around gas giants. That Jupiter's moon is a prime candidate for, for a habitable world. We're almost sure there's a saltwater ocean below the surface. I think it's pretty indisputable now. One of the coolest things I think about Europa is that the, the habitat, the, the potential habitat requires Jupiter because of the, the heating the, yes. is, is liquid because of the, the it's orbiting around a big stressing. planet. Mm -hmm. But it also seems to require, well, it requires the other moons, Io and Ganymede, yes. to keep it in this orbital resonance, which yeah. keeps feeding the energy in mm -hmm. from the gravitational field. The family but affair, all, yes. But it also might need the, the, the material from the volcanoes of Io on the surface of Europa. You do this for a billion years. That helps out the chemistry. Yes.